Uh, we have a quorum, everyone is present. Uh, this is the electoral board uh, for the village of Homer Grant. Make sure that's your all set. <laughs> uh, we're here to uh, issue a decision on two matters. Uh, the first is 18 EB01, uh, that is the case against the candidate Michael Karsunas. Uh, I believe he is here. Michael is here. Is there anyone here for the objector? They're not required to. We did indicate that, uh, that we would uh, be able to get the, the decisions to them as well. Uh, is there a motion to deny the objector's petition and issue a written decision to that effect? For a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? And for the record, uh, the, the decisions that are going to be issued, I had an opportunity to speak with the electoral board members one-on-one -on -one to explain the, the case law and uh, the, the statutes in Illinois and the decisions based on those discussions as well as uh, the existing the, the facts of the cases as, as well as the uh, Illinois case law on the electoral board. Uh, so, with regard to Michael Karsunas, 18 EB01, uh, the objection is denied and uh, the candidates uh, will be placed on the ballot. With regard to uh, the case of Beth Rogers, 18 EB02, uh, similarly, there's a decision that was drafted. Uh, I discussed the matter with the electoral board members, I explained it on the situation, I explained it on the case law, I got the feedback. Based on that, is there a motion to deny the objector's petition? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The objector's petition is denied. We will issue a written decision to that effect. And uh, Ms. Rogers' name will be placed on the ballot as well.
you know, once you get off the roadway, you really walk down into the property, I was able to uh, get me on the fence since the contractors are out there. And I'd just like to say, um, you know, I know we're paying a lot of money for that park, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6 million dollars, but I was telling like Trustee Caprio, when you compare that to the Goodings Grove, which we paid nearly a half million dollars for all, all told, we're getting more than five times the park, even in just that one area. And that's only a, a tenth of the entire park property. So I really feel good about what's going on with it. I agree 100%, Liz. Very nice. Little money. <coughs> I didn't get yeah. too far, but it, everything I saw was very nice. I have a comment there. Uh, this pay estimate, this pay number four estimate, <coughs> we are not releasing that until we have everything complete with three. Uh, uh, the trend up to three, correct? Yes. Correct. So, so we, as far as I know, we're not completely completed with three yet. No, we did okay. get an email that uh, was from Integral to uh, TRIA uh, with some documentation uh, for TRIA's review. Okay, so, so we have so we have 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 They know that it does not go anywhere until we get everything for just three. Right, just three. Well, and then once we get it, we'll give them payment for, right. and then we wait for five to come in, and then we have to wait for four. Yes, okay, just want to clarify. I know it sounds <clears throat> crazy, but that's the way it is. Yes. And I, I think I'd like to just comment on the fact that you know, I heard some misnomers that the village is running low on funds because of the amount of money we're spending at the park. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job of managing um, the park, uh, those that are involved. Um, I know that with John Sawyer's, who's not here this evening, um, his oversight of the financial condition of the village and the opportunity for us, uh, not only from a board, but from a uh, OAC perspective, the meetings that are done there, I'm hoping that uh, we're always watching the dollars that we're spending, and it's the long-term plan. It's not a short-term plan by any stretch of the imagination. So um, I think the money's being well spent. I've traveled uh, the exterior of the park. I have not gotten inside yet, but I plan to do so maybe this weekend even. So uh, just my two cents. I don't want the village residents to believe that um, we are overspending ourselves or no. going beyond our means. No. Agreed. Anything else? Okay. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Gray? Aye. Trustee Caprio? Aye. Trustee Sweet? Aye. Trustee Berry? Aye. Trustee Turkey? Aye. Motion carries. B, we're going to uh, put off until after executive session is done, so that's basically going to be 6D. Uh, and with that being said, uh, we have to go into executive session for discussion on uh, sale of real estate pending imminent litigation by <coughs> ILCS and personnel by ILCS. Uh, then we will come back out to the floor to finalize D. I'll make a motion. I'll second. <coughs> Trustee Suisse.
Uh, is, it, is, it, is there a motion? That should be our call. Meeting on the 26th. Cancel. Oh, yes. The meeting on the 26th of December will be canceled. So we just got to get that off line. And then is there a motion to close the executive session? Okay, is there a motion to... I salute. <laughs> All seconds. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.